As the Greek presidency of the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance draws to a close, and as we take stock of our work, it is right that we should be proud of the IRA's achievements, but conscious of the challenges that lie ahead. Our work doesn't end here. Indeed, as Sweden begins a new presidency, the themes that we have put at the heart of the Greek presidency, promoting Holocaust education and combating Holocaust denial and distortion on the internet, remain as relevant as ever. The value Greeks place on education runs deep. Learning is part of the very fabric of Greek society. As Socrates put it, the only good is knowledge and the only evil is ignorance. Our presidency focused on teaching and learning not just because we have a moral duty to educate on behalf of those who perished and those who survived, but also because education is a precondition to understanding our past, interpreting our present, and most importantly, safeguarding our democratic future. Seven decades after the Holocaust, antisemitism is on the rise across the globe. Shocking and disturbing as it may seem, Recent research shows large parts of the populace of Europe and the United States have little or even no knowledge of the Holocaust. That ignorance must serve as a reminder that we cannot rest. We must intensify our efforts to educate. Learning about the facts, the motivations, and the behaviors behind the greatest crime of the 20th century is a vital starting point in promoting critical thinking. Above all, Holocaust education helps to tackle prejudice, highlights the danger of stereotyping, words of complacency, forges responsible political attitudes, and encourages tolerance, empathy, and the protection and promotion of human rights. But education cannot just be the preserve of the classroom. It should be extended to everyday life, and especially to the fight against digital disinformation, denial, and distortion. During the pandemic, the use and misuse of digital tools, especially across the internet, took on a new relevance and an ever greater role in every aspect of our lives. That is why our presidency identified as its second central goal, combating Holocaust denial and distortion on the internet. By excusing, minimizing, or misrepresenting the historical record of the Holocaust, by spreading lies and misinformation, distortion paves the way of, for denial violent anti-Semitism, and extreme nationalism. We cannot allow that trend to continue. We must and we will tackle it at its source, through government-to-government collaboration, by harnessing the power of experts, and by working with the social media companies and civil society. Now more than ever, we need to use the internet to defend the truth, protect against the distortion of fact, and act against hate speech. And we need to educate users and platform moderators on the diverse manifestation of anti-Semitism across the web. As long as extremism, conspiracy theories, and hate speech continue to threaten our societies, learning about the faraway camps of madness, as Greek author Yorgos Ioannou described them, is vital. Because the consequences of ignorance, denial, and distortion are not far away. They are real. They are present and they must be tackled head on. Promoting Holocaust education research and remembrance empowers us to do just that. Education is the weapon that allows us to ensure such atrocities can never happen again. We remain strongly committed to this collective effort and on behalf of Greece, I wish the incoming Swedish presidency of the IRA every success. Thank you.